Hey everyone, welcome to another Rockland devlog. For this week, uh, we released a new demo of the spellcasting demo. We released a new version of the build. Um, things that we added in there were, uh, we added sensitivity sens sen settings so that you can change your look sensitivity depending on different controllers and things like that, or maybe your mouse sensitivity is high or low. Uh, so we added those in the settings menu. We also uh, fixed the bug where Linux users that were using a mouse could not gesture cast uh, reliably or at all really. Uh, so we fixed that bug. And then we also, the biggest thing is we retrofitted the uh, gamepad slash controller support for, um, for gesture casting. Uh, so what we used to be doing is when you're doing the gamepad gesturing, you would hold this left trigger and then you would move the con the gamepad analog stick. But wherever the location was on the stick, that's where it would the indicator would be, which would mean that uh, it would always like return back to the center and you'd be fighting the stick. And so what we've done to make this better is we added this gesture cast gamepad gamepad additive mode, which is on by default. You don't need to turn it on. Um, it's just that setting is there for testing purposes more than anything. And so now, um, when uh, you pull the left trigger, it just, every time you move the gamepad, it moves this, uh, moves the indicator. This is kind of how you would expect the gamepad to actually, uh, that analog stick to work. We always look at it as, as a rate rather than an absolute. Um, and I was just misusing it before. So that should make the experience much better and easier to actually cast spells using the gamepad. There used to be an issue where if you were going too fast, you wouldn't recognize the spell. Uh, that was fixed through this new method. Um, and, um, and you saw that there was a... There's a trail now, for, so we wanted to make sure that there's a little more user feedback provided to you about whether or not what you did, whether it was correct or not. And so there's now this little trail to let you know what you actually cast, so you can know like, wow, yeah, that was really not the spell that you wanted. Um, so that trail is there. We also added that text, uh, that like green text near the in the middle top. Um, to tell you which spell you actually cast, or if you didn't cast one and the system recognized that you didn't cast one uh, and that it wasn't a bug. So uh, we added that that for better feedback. And uh, we changed the spells just slightly um, so that the gestures would match to, in terms of complexity to the score you would get. Really not a big deal. Uh, didn't really change the gestures all of the new spell, which which spell is which pattern is all in the Discord channel. If you're interested in play testing, you still can go sign up to play test uh, by joining the Discord channel. We covered that in devlog number one. There should be a link up here uh, that pops up the sh points you to that video at the beginning of that devlog. We talked more about um, about get, adding uh, joining the play test. Uh, in addition to that, we um, we're updating the website for Rockland. So what this looks like is we're adding some more graphic graphics and things like that. One big thing is um, the reps, website used to be rockland.institute. That now redirects to incantic.games slash Rockland. We're kind of changing the brand to not be towards the, not to focus on the institute part of Rockland. Rockland Institute will still be part of the game. That is your like home base. That is the institute where magic is being researched and that you got accepted to uh, study at that institute. And, uh, but we're trying to move away from that, from the main branding. Uh, there are a lot of s magic schools out there. We still want to focus heavily on that aspect. Uh, but it will not be the main center of it. So we've been kind of shifting away from that and just 
uh, just be calling the game Rocklin. And so we're adding uh, some more, um, something that's just not as empty as it was before and add some videos so, since that now all, um, all exists now. So uh, stay tuned for that, although there really won't be that much more that you haven't already that we haven't covered in one of these devlogs, but um, we are changing that as something to do in the spare time around my contracting work that I've been doing uh, on the site. So really that's it for this devlog. Just wanted to check in, say hi, and tell you what's been up. And until next time, see you.